what's going on with y'all, man? West Coast Battle Media, we are here. This is the official recap for the Fire Battle URL battle between Geechee Gotti, Mafia, versus Luizy, the Goonies. Man, this is a dope battle, man. Very dope black battle, man. Good replay value on this battle as well, man. Gotta salute both of y'all for putting on a fire matchup. Uh, salute to KG, Philosophy, everybody over there at URL with a hand in this. Yak, everybody over there for setting this up. It's a goodie right here, man. It's definitely a good one right here. This was a treat right here, man, for real. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to break it down round for round. We're going to talk about who had the better bars. We're going to talk about all that stuff, man. Y'all ready? Is y'all ready? All right, let's go ahead and get to it, man. So, round one on Luizzi. Let's go ahead and talk about this round for a second. So, he started it up. Round off, he had the whole entire wig flip the line. I thought that was hot. I thought that was a nice line. He had the whole entire, you know what I'm saying, breaking jaw. Now you're going to be using sign language for real. You know, talking about how gang bangers be. Y'all understand the reference. Y'all understand the reference. Shit was fire. It was dope. I was fucking with that line. He had the whole entire baby bulldog line. Another dope line. Had a Mortal Kombat line. Eh, it was good. I, I, I was fucking with the line. Solid line. He had the, the ounce of coke look like a rice cake. <laughs> fire. That was fire. That was actually a dope line. I was fucking with that line a lot. He had the whole entire pine cone line. Oh my god. Fire. I felt like this was a dope round from him. Um, I won't say this is his best round. This is a dope round from Luizy. This is a nice round from Luizy. Dope way to go ahead and start your first round. So, let's go ahead and talk about what Geechee Gotti did in the first round, shall we? Let's go ahead and talk about it, man. So, Geechee had a whole entire line. I'm like, you know, to come out the box. You know, this, uh, what did he say? This this box came with a body like pregnant pussy. Come on, man. This, what? Fire. Box come with body like pregnant pussy. You dying today. Why you think they sent the Reaper with you? Come on, man. White kids known for sniffing glue, nigga. What? White kids known for sniffing glue? Oh, oh. Then you had the horns. I had the jail song one. That was, come on. Found your chest like a jail song. The Hey Arnold line. Hey, come on, man. That was dope. He had the whole entire the Tupac voice. Oh, come on, man. It, this round from Geechee, I'm not going to lie. I felt like we're going to go as far as bar heavy. This is probably his most bar heavy round. I was fucking with this round. Uh, he also had the whole entire the cold word, Lamar and Chloe. Come on now, man. Everything in this round I felt was dope. I felt like this was a, a, a good round from Geechee right here. Not the best round of the battle for Geechee, but I do feel like this is a good round right here. Um, so how I scored it in this round, this round is actually... As much as much I'm saying Geechee had a fire round, you could debate this round if you wanted to. I mean, you could say Luizzi had a little more consistency. Maybe Geechee had a few bars that maybe y'all felt was outdated. Maybe you could say he had a few bars that y'all didn't really care for. But all in all, man, Geechee's round was dope to me. I gave him the edge in this round. So already he's up 1-0, man. So in my opinion, I'm like, Luizzi, you got to fight back, Luizzi. Mm -hmm. I, was on, I was standing on stage. I was like, Glue, you better turn up, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, turn up, nigga. Glue, 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 let me holla at you. You gonna turn up, nigga? Hmm? Hmm? You gonna turn up, huh? Alright. Turn up then, nigga. Round two on Gluezy. Let's talk about this for a second. So, in my opinion, this was Gluezy's best round. This man was going the fuck off in this round. Are you serious? He was going off in this round. He had the whole entire line about snake eyes. That, shit, that, that was a nice line. I was fucking with that. Don't sleep around white boys. You know the draw on your face. Oh, nigga, what? He go hold it down. No, you hold it down. Fire! Shit was fire. I fuck with that line heavy, man. That line was so fucking dope to me, man. Oh my god. Then he had the whole entire the higher learning shit. That was a nice line. I was fucking with that line. The pulling bitches in LA. The, uh, Caroline, come on, man. <laughs> what? He was spazzing in this round, man. He also had the whole entire Cinderella, man. I thought that was dope. Then he had the. Diet, dietitian, my patients were getting thick. Oh, what? Fire! Nigga, he was spazzing in this round. Glue was fucking cooking in this round. I'm not gonna front to you. Glue Easy was cooking in this round. <coughs> cooking in this round, for real. Then he had the whole entire, the J Black, I debate battles with a Tech Nine. Come on, man. Champion shit. Ch champion, champion, ch ch shake my hand. Shake my hand. Ch shake my hand. Shake my hand. You know what I'm saying? That was fire to me. The cabbage patch line was, was a nice line. Cracker in the head like you're thinking about me. Come on, bro. That was fire. Another haymaker. This round right here I thought was his best round of the battle. I felt like he really turned up here. 
He had back-to-back -back punches. His haymakers were all hidden. I felt like this was a very crisp and clean round from Luizzi. And so let's go ahead and talk about round two on Geechee, man. At this point, I'm like, Geechee, you got to fight back now. I know you up 1-0, but you got to fight back, nigga. Huh? My mafia that? Huh? Let's see what you turned up with, sir. So Geechee got his round two. Let's talk about it for a second. He had the Carolina scheme starting off, man. That was that was a nice scheme. I was feeling that scheme. Then he had, you know, you feel right at home when you die. <sighs> Fire haymaker, man. After that scheme, man, the way he did. Oh, man, that was a crazy ending right there. Then he had the whole entire... Money over the cap like <clears throat> like bird rights. I think a lot of y'all slept on that shit. That was a dope ass line, man. That was dope. I don't know if y'all understand that concept. That shit was dope. I was fucking with that line. Blade in him, you know, you uh, used to getting glued, getting stuck. That was that was a nice line. I fucked with that. Uh, the Maya Campbell line, I was fucking with that one too. Um, broke nigga in the strict leg twerk was too much for you. This round from Geechee, man, it wasn't as crisp as the other two rounds that he had. Um I felt like Luizzi won this round clear. I felt like if anybody were to say a clear round, this is probably the clearest round of the battle was the second round. I feel like it was very lopsided. I feel like Luizzi uh, pretty much dominated this round as far as the round for round perspective. Gichi did have some nice shit in this round. He did definitely go ahead and he had some punches in there that were dope. I just feel like Luizzi just had that much more, man. He really elevated his energy. And, you know, Gichi, you know, his energy wasn't really as hyped up as the first, but he still had, it was a solid round from Gichi. We've seen better. So I had this 1-1 going into the third, man. So we got to talk about this third round, man, because this is where, this, this, who wants it? Who wants the battle, man? Who going to turn up and take the battle? So let's talk about it for a second, man. So, round three on Gucci. Hold on, hold on, what? What, what you niggas, what, what you niggas, huh? Nico, get the fuck out of here. Gluizzi has won the first two rounds. Geechee Gotti won the first two rounds. This shit isn't 1-1. One, one. Your bias is shit. Is this West Coast Battle Media or is this Geechee Gotti Media? Is this Gluizzi Media? Nico Media. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. I ain't even got done with the review yet. Y'all already sitting over here in your moist ass feelings. Get out your moist ass feelings. Feel what I'm saying? Get out your moist ass feelings, niggas. I had this so far with 1-1 one, one going into the third. I got the first to Geechee. I got the second clearly the glue. Can we get into the third round? Can I get into the third round before y'all start trying to, you know what I'm saying, get out of nigga? Can I, can I get into my third round, please? Thank you. Let me, let, me, let me cook. Let the media cook. Let the media cook, man. Let the media cook, man. So round three on Glue Easy. Let's talk about that round, sir. He had the whole entire, you know, he had to put glue. I had to put glue on you to hold the West Coast down. That was fire, how he set that up and everything. That was a fire line. I fuck with that line. You know, Pistol whoop and let off the handle like I'm sneaking out the house. That was a nice line. That was a dope line to me, man. I was fucking with that line, man. That long time airweave killer, man. That was a nice line. Going back and forth with the razor. You know, like T-Top. A lot of y'all slept on this. A lot of people did not understand this on Twitter. T-Top and Razor Ramon. They was going back and forth, man, on Twitter, man. So when he was like, you know, going back and forth with the razor, that shit's fire, man. I know a lot of people did not catch it. They didn't understand what had happened. But for those of y'all don't know, just go ahead and check T-Top's account, man. Go on Twitter, you can see all the exchange, man. It was actually a dope, a dope moment, man, in battle rap, man. You know, everybody was talking about it, man. It was definitely dope, man. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a salute T-Top, man, for what he did right there with that one. But, yeah, that was a nice line. I fuck with that. Uh, died overseas, overseas. Uh, it was a nice line. Uh, I I've heard I've heard the line before, not the exact line. So, I want anybody to talk about 10-4s. I'm just saying I've heard it before. Uh, this one was a, this one was cool. I fuck with the line. I fuck with, I fuck, I fuck with the line. Um, I, I pull over here. I got pulled over here like a rest stop. That was a nice line. This round from Luizzi. I feel like this is another strong round from Luizzi. I felt like he was really doing his thing in this round. Ah um, oh man, it's not better than the second round. Not better than the second at all. It dropped off a little bit. It dropped off. He left the door open. So let's go ahead and talk about Geechee's third round. So. Geechee in this third round, man, he really showed off a lot of versatility in this one, man. Switched it up on, you know, going either punching or just talking to you. He had a lot of different things in here, and you already know how Geechee is, man. The substance come with it. Come on now, man. Get the whole entire arsenal, bus driver, you know, bus driver. Cool. We, we've heard we've heard lines like that before, but that was a, a, a cool little line. I like that line. Then he had, this is a fucking haymaker. I know niggas is willing to die for niggas that's not even willing to live for them. Where my pick at? Where, where, where's my pick? Talk to these niggas! Talk to these niggas! What? Fire! Nico, hold it down. You hold the fuck down. Fire! God damn it. God. 
that shit hit home. I don't know about y'all. That shit hit home for me, man. I don't. Substance, bro. I, man, that line hit home for me. Then he had the whole entire better relationship with their gun than they do with their son. Come the fuck. What? I, that shit was fucking crazy. Uh, talking about, he was talking about his partner got to treat this shit like crime. At least I got a date. I think I'll, if y'all don't feel this, y'all just don't feel it, bro. I feel this shit, man. This, this shit was talking. Oh my god, bro. This this shit was just ridiculous. Then he had the whole entire. I can tell you what they shooting by with the gun sound. Come on. Fire. That line was crazy to me right there, man. He had the whole entire straight out of Compton thing, man. That shit was that was a nice line. I was fucking with that line. Uh, these shits burn like sex with Usher. That shit was fire. I fuck with that right there. Fire burn, fire burn bars. I know, I know. Y'all didn't like. Chill, hold it down, get out your moist ass feelings. Oh, we're trying to bar right there. It is what it is. It came off the way it came off, alright? Chill, hold it down, get out your moist ass feelings, niggas. But he had the whole entire, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, you know, he seen niggas die because they hesitated. My nigga, I can't. Are you fucking serious? Mmm, nigga! I don't know, maybe, maybe I just feel it a little bit more than the average person, man. That shit hit. Too much, so much substance in this round, man. I don't think y'all understand. He had the whole entire, you know, niggas that called their mama talking about they on on their way home, but they never made it. My nigga, it's substance. This round has so much substance to it, man. So much substance, man. Like for real. Then he had the ended it with the whole entire gorilla glue, gorilla glue line. I feel like that was dope. I mean, all in all, this round's gonna come down to your personal preference, man. I've seen people say Louisy 2 1. I'm not mad at that at all. They felt like he had his second and third round, or, you know, first or second, however you want to say it. They felt like he won two of these rounds. I'm not gonna be mad at somebody saying that. For me personally, I got Geechee Gotti 2 1, first and third. His third round to me, man, I gave him the edge. Like I said, certain shit just hits home for me differently than I guess it hits for the average person, man. His third round has so much substance, man. So, like, just this real life, man. Like, if you can relate to it, you understand what I'm talking about, man. That shit just hit hit a different way, man. And he made it fire. It wasn't like he was just saying this shit. And it's like, okay, you can relate to it. He made it into a fire bar, man. He made it so relatable, man, where you just get right then and there and deliver this strong. So, I gave Geechee this, this battle, man, 2-1. It is an edge. It's a preference battle, in my opinion, because I believe you can give it to Louisi if your preference is on the bars. If you like the bars more than just the substance and versatility, I'll give you that. But in my personal opinion, man, I had Geechee Gotti 2-1. Salute to both of y'all, man. This is definitely a dope battle. I don't know if it'll be, you know, top five of the year, maybe top ten. It's going to be one of the top battles this year. Definitely has a lot of replay value, man. Uh, you got one, man, on the West Coast, man. Salute to both of y'all for doing that, man. But, yeah, that's my prediction, man. How y'all call this one, man? Y'all have Luigi, Y'all have Geechee, man. Who'd you have, man? Goonies Mafia. Man, talk about it, man. But this is your boy Nico, though, man. West Coast Battle Media. We about it here, man. Hey.